instead of wasting too much more of my time. Anyways, from there, you can walk here, uh, pick up the rock, and there's plenty of portals in here that create shortcuts throughout the world, but you have to fall in to activate them, so first we want to go ahead and fall in here to activate it. And there we go. Okay, so we've activated that, so we'll have to walk around here. Actually, I'm sorry, I walked the wrong way. We have to go this way first. I believe. So, walk down. There's the third dungeon, but of course we can't get in there there yet, and there's a few things we have to do first. So, what we want to do is go over here and Talk to Richard here. Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee my villa. So you want the key to you cuckoo prairie, do you? I may be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? <laughs> I want you to recover the golden leaf I left behind the castle when I fled. Okay. I'm impressed. There are five leaves in all. Remember to buy a shovel on your way back, which we already have. So, I'll just check and see how many seashells we have. So, from there, on. So, from there, I want to go here. I want to go up this way. This way, it will go up. Oof, these wing doctor rocks are a pain in the rear end. Anyways, from here we'll just keep going. We can't get into there yet, but we can walk up here and the cameraman will be there. This is another picture that we can take. Hi, Link. You know I love to take pictures. Wouldn't this old castle make a great photo? Nothing yet. I grow tired of waiting. I want those golden leaves delivered soon. Courage like this deserves a photo, don't you think? <laughs> Go ahead and take the picture of me. Any angle you like. Wait. I'm not afraid. I just decided to wait at home. So, there is another photo you can take. So, from here, we just want to go right here. Talk to this monkey. And give him our banana that we have. Ooh, ooh, Kiki. Monkeys, come repay him. Kiki. Okay. So they will build a bridge for us to cross. So, and they'll leave something behind for us. Monkey business done. Bye bye. Ooh, Kiki. -ki. So walk up and we get the next item in our trading side quest a stick. <laughs> so from there we can go up here. And we'll go up again, and up again, and then we can go left here. So, and then we have a bridge here. So from here, we can equip the rock's feather, and jump. Ooh, ooh. Ah, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect to do that, but anyway. Jump over these spikes here, and go up. So, here we collect the five gold feathers. So, from here, we can kill him. Didn't give us anything. So, we'll, look at this guy, he don't give us anything either. So, we can quit the thing here, and kill this bird, and we'll drop our next gold, our first gold leaf. It's gold leaf number one. So, after that, we can go down here. Okay. Let's keep on going. You can kill anybody you walk by. Sometimes it'll be necessary, sometimes it won't. Most of these, of course, isn't necessary. So we'll come here, and we'll have this guy who will do that. Okay, so we have to kill him for our next gold feather. So whenever he pops out of a hole, chop him before he throws a bomb. And uh, this may take a while if you're cautious, but you actually need to be because uh, if he hits you with a bomb, it'll take out 
I believe the whole heart, if I remember correctly. I don't exactly remember, but this may take a while because I try to be cautious because I don't want to have to do this a million times. So, be very cautious and eventually you'll beat him and get the gold feather. So, that is our second one, I believe. Yes. Okay. So, we go ahead and go into the castle now. And go this way. I don't remember if killing all these enemies is necessary, so whichever ones I'm not sure if I need to kill, I'm going to kill them anyways. Just to be safe. And that one was necessary. That is the third gold leaf we need. And I believe I know where the next two are. So keep going through the castle. Kill these if you hoping to get a heart out of them, which I got one out of him. So go ahead and keep doing the same thing. Well, step there. Huh? It sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Yep. I sure can. So, but we'll worry about that after we finish what we gotta do in the castle. So, I go up here. Quit your bombs. There. And we can lay a bomb by these things and some dark nuts. So, pop out. Got the move on there. There's gold leaf number four. Yeah. So we can go it. Well, he didn't come out. Oh well, I'm not gonna bother about it. He won't give us anything anyways. Might be lucky enough to get a recovery heart, but nah, who cares? Anyways, next we'll go out and go back in here, and we need to pick up one of these bottles here. So go ahead and throw it. And we have this guy. Just watch out for his ball and chain. And chop him as much as you can. I think you have to hit him eight times. Unless, obviously, unless you have the piece of power at this point. Which I, unfortunately, do not. So, just keep chopping him. And he'll die. And you can pick up the last leaf. At last, you got the final golden leaf. Now go and see Richard about that key. Okay. So, before we do that, we'll have a few more things we want to collect first. Um, I didn't need to do that. Pick up this, and we can get a recovery heart. So, <clears throat> we need to backtrack and get out of this castle now. So, won't take up too much time, but let's go ahead. And also, while I'm doing this, I have to say I'm sorry about not doing this for the last three or four days. Uh, last night I was sleepy from all the work I've been doing lately and uh, the night before that I was like really sick with my allergies and all that so that is why I wasn't doing this in a while and also if you sprinkle magic powder on those anti fairies which is that black and white thing there it will turn into a fairy that you can use to heal yourself so just uh, you know that just in case uh, that's what you want to do. Anyways, from here, we want to walk down three here. Watch out for these enemies that come popping out of the holes. And we want to go ahead and go right here. And we can kill these enemies. And go in here. And this is the secret seashell uh, cave or building or mansion, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, if you have five seashells like you can see that we have uh, up there you have to have exactly five or this won't work if you want to get all the seashells so you can walk in here and this thing over here will fill up some and when it does another secret seashell will fall down in a box so that would be secret seashell number six so go ahead and go down and uh out these guys so anyways whenever I do this if I get all the pictures I will um, go ahead and I will show the uh, shoot I forgot what I was gonna do um, yeah I will show all the pictures that I got so to do that that's what I'll do I forgot you have to go here to get uh, a seashell right here seashell number seven so and do that 
And from here, I'm going to walk left, and then down, and then left again, and then down, oops, <laughs> and then down again, and then we want to pick up the stone over here, oops, I have the power brace that I clipped already, and throw it, and here is secret seashell number 8. So, after we do that, we want to walk left across the bottom portion of the screen right here and go into here. So, we can, uh, oops, <laughs> I wasn't very smart with it, nope. Okay, so we can walk this way and be careful of these guys, these, they're not very nice. Anyways, you can kill them, but it's not easy to do. So, we want to lay a bomb here. Be careful of anything that's trying to attack you here because it's no good. Alright. So, next thing we want to do is equip the rock's feather and jump. Okay. So, from there, we can push. Oh, let's kill that first. Push this down the hole and jump. Okay. And we want to go around. So, we want to push this one. Get out of the way. <laughs> Want to push this one to the right and push this one up so we can get out of the cave. And from here, I don't think there's anything we can do here. Nope. Okay. So from here, we can go up here. So, I don't know how that happened. I guess I got a fairy after I did that. So, if you do that, we can uh, talk to this out here. So, around here, secrets are nigh. But you dig right here, and you get Secret Seashell number uh, 9. So, we can do that. And next, we need to exit the cave. So, go ahead and do this. Walk back this way, and up here, and jump down. And then, after we do that, we can equip the Rock's Feather again, and jump. This time, we're going to go down here. So, go ahead and do that. And we can kill these guys here. So go ahead and do that. And then afterwards, we want to. I'm trying to remember what we got to do here. Uh, okay. We can <coughs> walk down to here. And then we'll walk. Right here, watch out for the buzz blobs, it'll shock you. I didn't want to go down there. Go this way and chop this, and we get secret seashell number 10. So, from there, we want to go back to the secret seashell shrine again. So, I think this will be the first to the last time, but I'm not totally sure. So, we want to go back to the cave again. Just watch out for these things that are trying to kill you here. Kill the zoles as you go through if you feel the need to. Okay, go ahead and go down here. And then from here, we want to uh, walk right here. Oh, not let that bomb us and push us down. And then we can walk up here. And we'll walk right here. I'm just going back, so if you remember how to get there from there, just go ahead and do it. Uh, whew. Okay, good. So, dang, I keep hoping these will give me recovery hearts, but they're not. Oh, uh, well. Anyways, let's go in here. We do have 10, correct? Yes. Walk in here. This, and again, you have to have 10 exactly. So, in here, we'll get secret seashell number 11. So, Hold on one second. Okay, next we want to exit the mansion. So we can kill these guys and hopefully give us a uh, uh, hearts. Thank you. <laughs> okay, anyway, from here we want to walk down and then we want to kill these guys again. If we can. I mean, we don't have to. You don't have to, but I'm trying to get my recovery hearts filled up because uh, I'm getting close to death and I don't want to use the secret potion if it is not necessary so from there we can walk left and 
kill these things because they're making me mad. Anyways. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyways. From here. Woke up. And then I believe we want to walk this way. So. Oops. Okay. So. Keep going. Okay, yeah, because uh, we want to talk to Richard next. So. Oh, that was really stupid. Anyways, uh, I'll try to chop some of these and hope I get some recovery hearts out of it because I'm right, close to death. Okay, well, I got some. Not as many as I would have liked, but eh, it's better than nothing. So, we speak to him. Ah, Trebian, I see you have recovered all the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. Okay, so we'll go ahead and push that. And we'll go down the steps. Okay. Then from here, we want to go here, kill the Zul. Dang, no hearts. Ah! Okay, no hearts. Alright, push this down. Jump over. And get seashell number 12, I believe. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and jump over it again. Go around and just be careful. Watch out for Zoles as they pop up like that one there. Okay. And then from there, we want to go left and we want to exit this cave. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and this is pothole fields. So through here, there'll be a bunch of potholes, and there's really only one way we can go. First, we want to cut one bush down here. Then we want to cut three to the right, and then we want to go down the screen. Okay, and then from there, we want to cut three bushes down. We want to cut two right, and go right one screen. And from here, we want to cut one bush right, one bush down, four right, one, two, three, four, and one up. And then from there, we want to cut one right, two up. And then we want to go up a screen. Okay. And then from there, we want to cut four bushes up. So one, two, three, four. And then we want to cut five left. One, two, three, four, five. And one up. And go left. And from here, speak to this. And I'll say, in soil, sleep secrets beneath your soles. So that means, obviously, beneath your shoes. So we want to dig here. And we will get the key. So... Got the slime key. Now you can open the gate in Ukuku Prairie. Okay. So from here, we just want to go out the same way that we came in, which is not that way. <laughs> so, again, I'm just chopping as I go. <clears throat> you know, and then if I'm lucky, maybe I'll find some parts around. Well, Shoot, I don't even need them, do I? Nope, because I've got plenty. So, Oof. that was kind of stupid. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and go back through here. And, <clears throat> go ahead and get out of this cave now. So, that's what we want to do next. So, go ahead and uh, kill the Zol, be not before he hits us, of course. We obviously want to let Zol hit us, not. Anyways, after that, <clears throat> there we go. So, anyways, you want to go up here and go this way and go up and use the key. And obviously, we still can't get there. We've got to go around. So, from there, from here, we want to go ahead and walk down and then walk right and then walk down again. And we want to walk right back here at Richard's house again. And we want to walk up three more steps. So let's go ahead and do that. No, oh, run over everything. One, two, and three. And from here, we want to go ahead and go over here. And we want to use our rock's feather here. We'll jump up, because if you fall in the lava, you'll see, or in the water, you will drown and have to go there. So just wanted to show that off. So you want to go ahead and go here, 
And you can kill these guys if you really, really, really want to. It's a lot easier if you use your uh, rocks feather to jump around with them. Eventually you'll hit them. Hopefully they don't kill you first. You shouldn't, but they are very difficult to hit because they jump as soon as you start swinging your sword at them. So, and I just chopped all the things so I can't remember where it was. It was in between them. Ooh, lucky. Oh, so there we go. That is number 13. So, there we go. We're halfway done with the, if you're collecting all of them. You only have, again, you only have to collect 20 of them. But I'm going to try to get all 26 of them. So, to let you know that. So, from here, you walk into here. And here we are. Level 3, Key Cavern. So, next time, we will be going through Key Cavern. So, until next time, everybody enjoy your day. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.